Silk screen. Silk screen is started in China. Okay, it, Italy. I mean, it has its history. So it's been around a long, long time. And then it got re. It, it was a sign painter's technique in America in the 30s and the 40s. So, you know, and that's where you got stop signs from. Uh, I mean, that was all silk screen. Because they had to print it on different materials. And then they got into. Uh, it got into the art world in the 60s during the pop arts. We so, all started using it. And then I was out west with people who were using it in San Francisco to print the rock and roll posters. And, but it was still like the, the black sheep of the printing, you know. Every, oh, yeah, so, you know, I had a bad rap. But. So, but where it really exploded technically was in the early 70s when the textile industry and the, uh, wanted to do a lot of fabrics with silk screen and the t-shirt industry grabbed a hold. So all of a sudden commercially had all this R&D being put in and materials. And so it went from a very primitive, like let's use it for the supermarket signs, to let's print micro circuit boards with it. And then it, it just kept going from that, you know. And so it has kind of a fun history. But it's still based, it's still the same thing. You know? He did a lot So basically, you're looking at something, you're making it in black and white, then you're making a screen because the black part is where, it's gonna be is where you're going to be porous. So, and then the screens, which I can't really show here, but we coat the screens with like a photosensitive emulsion. emulsion. And then when you shine a light, you wash out. Where is that? You're washing out. Oh. Everything looks black. So you're washing out with water everything in the screen. So all the black is now going to wash away, and that becomes the open area. And then you prepare the screen, you get it ready, and it, it's all hardened, except for what's going to go through the fabric. And then, so for every color on a silk screen, there's another screen. And for every screen, there's another one of those. So the amount of time that's going in to get into the point where you have a screen like Jane this needs to be got about 25 different no maybe 30. We stopped counting it at some point. But what it is is you're layering and layering, drawing and drawing, and then some things you're just doing in one color. Hence the stretching. Right. And then the, the other part too is that because silk screen is, is actually part of an ink process, that your, your ink is layering on top of its color. But you kind of could see how fast it was to change color. Yeah. Now this is mixing in a little bit with the uh, with the um, with the blue because the blue is completely out of the screen. So you can see the blue 